rain, I'll stop and try and get a better shot of it again. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. All right, we're just on the uh, water here, Crystal Beach. And today, the only thing I'm doing today is observing the sky. Uh, we're expecting a few thunderstorms later on this afternoon. So uh, if the winds stay light and we get a nice system moving in, I'll be able to get the drone up. That's what I'm hoping to do. So uh, that's basically it. So that's the setup for today. It's very hot and humid. It's about 28 degrees right now, feeling like 34, 35. A lot of humidity in the air, hardly a breeze. And the skies are very grey, as you can see. Right, could be a bit of a chase on now. The uh, storm is uh, encroaching pretty uh, close now. It's been brewing and brewing for the last few hours. And as you can see, the skies are getting pretty dark uh, to the west of us now, and it is coming up the lake. Usually when we get storms, they tend to come from the northwest with a cold front, but these ones are coming up from Lake Erie. So I'm going to head out onto the lake quite a bit and sit and wait and see what transpires. Right, I'm just going to sit here and wait. I'm about six kilometers away from Crystal Beach, a kilometer away from the lighthouse. 20 kilometers away from Buffalo. Got a nice clear sight of down the, the lake here. A couple of ships still there. Once those ships sort of disappear, then I'll know uh, the rain's there. Look at this, it's like glass currently. But we all know this can change very quickly. I can see a change in the water just on the horizon. Um, it's hard to gauge how far but I'm guessing just a few hundred meters ahead of me, there's a change in the, the, the way the water looks. So it won't surprise me in a couple of minutes, this will not be glass anymore. out here with that bird. Oh, I scared him off now. Ow, oh, it's getting really dark, but I'm trying to distinguish whether I can hear thunder or not in the distance. Uh, rain falling quite heavily over here on the US side. I just heard a rumble of thunder over there as well. And uh, a little downpour here. And some more over there. And another bit over there. Just seems to have cleared up just over there, so it must be the gap between each storm as it comes along. But uh, I'm just starting to feel the air go a bit cooler where I'm sitting. So it's not going to be long before I start moving my way out of here. Um, that's turned into a nice looking cloud, actually. Keep an eye on that as it gets a bit closer. But as soon as I see lightning anywhere near here, I'm out of here. But that rain looks like it's probably about a mile away from me. I'm going to guess, so I'll be out of here probably as that gets closer. Whichever comes first, the rain or the lightning, I'll be out of here. All right, the uh, line of, first line of storm is just arriving now. It's just starting to rain where I am. I can feel it. There's a nice little drop right over there. Look at that. That is beautiful, especially with the lightness coming through there. I like that. It's a really nice shot. And then we have the bulk of the rain of the first major band just coming in here. Nice cloud above it. So uh, I'm going to have to fire up, start slowly creeping back. Lovely low cloud over there. That's really nice. Good scud. Really cool. Here it is. The rain is coming down. I could hear it approaching, which was really, really weird. I could see the video on my phone. And as I sat there, I could hear this sound coming. And it was the rain approaching me. Like That is really heavy rain in that cloud right there. Uh, you can't see through it. It's probably just a few hundred meters away from me. Lovely scud cloud over there. 
So we're going to make our way uh, closer inland for safety reasons and we'll stop again very, very shortly. That rain is really coming down. That is so cool. Great clouds. starting to change as well. I'm starting to notice a bit of a swell. So in the next few minutes this is going to get pretty choppy. So I seem to have just outran it a little bit. Uh, the rain's easing off right here. So maybe I can ease up. See how far out I was. Look at that. So I sat four miles offshore in the end. Right, it's going to stop here. It's a great cloud just there. This is that wind picking up. It went from like, it was so calm and still four or five minutes ago, and now uh, it's pretty gusty winds. Uh, we've got ripples on the lake, which are going to start to see the swells picking up now. I'm just concentrating on that low cloud over there. Now, in the blink of an eye, you start to see the white cap slowly starting to appear. So very, very shortly, uh, this is going to be a rough thing. Oh, yes. Look at the water. Look at the ripples. All right. Wow. Unbelievable. Look how quick it's turning. It's skimming right across the water here. Okay, big white caps now starting to appear. This would be just a, a matter of about, I'm looking at four minutes since I felt the first raindrop to now.
again. So once again, so I'm also like 50 km an hour winds behind me because I don't feel any wind on my face. No wind on my face whatsoever. But as soon as I stop, it's more than a 20 gale. So, uh, so I'm right on the leading edge to the lighthouse. there. Right, the band of heavy rain is approaching me again, so uh, I'm not too far away from shore now. The shoreline. Uh, that's Point Abbey, you know, and I can just about work out land there, and it's disappeared. Oh, I get lots of water inside my ski. Look at that. Waves coming over. Right, so the rain, the rain's catching me up again. That hurts. That's heavy rain. I just hope that doesn't turn into hailstone. White cap. Okay, we've got like a foot and a half now waves coming in. Maybe pushing two feet. Yeah, pushing two feet now. So we're in from car to two feet waves coming in. And I'm just riding with them right now. Right, I'm going to make myself to uh, shore there. So I'll talk to you when I get to shore.
and um, it's literally caught me up again and right in it uh, the boat ramp's just over there so I've got to go oh, it's getting really heavy I mean that guy just oh that hurts that really hurts whoa the shoreline and where I gotta go <laughs> okay I've got my GPS so uh, I don't have to follow this thing now because I just lost the shoreline it just disappeared alright okay over there over there over there alright there goes oh they're coming right let me see them alright oh get that water out To the dock. Absolutely pouring down. A little mad rush here. People trying to get out. So, oh, there's a bit of thunder. So we do have thunder in the air now. So best get out of here for that lightning hit. Wow! Look at that drowned rat. Gotta go get the ski up now. Just pummeling it down. Uh, this is going to be like this all night. A lot of heavy rain. Well, we were way out, way out over there. Now it's a bit of a clearing. Uh, still pretty nasty over there. Thunder and lightning hit a couple of rumbles, but nothing major. As I speak. Oh, right on cue. Rumble of thunder. So anyway, I'm going to go home and get changed. Uh, I believe there's meant to be a lot of storms throughout the night, so I'm probably going to come down here later on for about the ski and uh, try and get some action. I'll meet up with uh, Stormwatch Lake Erie uh, later on this evening and see what happens. So anyway, there's all a bit of fun out there. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And now there's no one on the water whatsoever. <laughs> it was a busy lake uh, an hour ago and everyone's gone.